Now, probation takes uh, both a data-driven approach, but it takes a data-driven, compassionate approach. And I think uh, in law enforcement, that's unique. Um, we're focused on behavior change as opposed to behavior interruption. You know, it's funny because sometimes practice follows the money. And, uh, and when the money began influencing uh, probation, uh, we began looking at our kids differently. So when I entered the business 20 plus years ago, um, it really was about supervision, uh, supervision of youth and protecting the community. And, uh, and the money helped us reformulate our focus. And our focus became all about uh, how do we enhance the lives of kids, not just how do we protect the community, um, but how do we take the youth that we're responsible for and build better lives for them. Um, and I think we have spent the last decade really honing that skill uh, and becoming much better practitioners uh, in helping kids and their families. And it, as we've seen uh, through decreased crime rates in the juvenile justice arena across the nation and here in California and in each of our jurisdictions, focusing on kids and families has really been uh, the, the, the type of thing that's made that possible. You know, when I think about how business has changed, I don't think about an individual anecdote. I really think about how uh, each deputy probation officer in our organization, from those that work in the field with families in the community to all of my deputies that are in the institutions, uh, working with kids day in and day out about their, uh, their issues and, and toward their behavior change, um, really SB 81 was one of those things that drove that refocus, that caused probation officers to rethink their jobs and realize that they were change agents more so than supervision officers. And they began to focus on the elements of change uh, and the relationship development with youth and their families and the fact that probation officers could be a driving force behind improving public safety through changing behaviors. You know, one of the things that uh, made me most proud as a chief probation officer was giving my staff the opportunity to put down in writing um, what it was that they really focus on when it comes to their jobs. And the, the number one thing that they focus on was being compassionate servants. And they really see themselves as that. They see themselves as change makers, but they see that the way that they have the most effect on a family and on a kid is, uh, is through the relationship that they develop. And they develop those relationships through trust and compassion. And, and to me, uh, that speaks volumes of who we are as an industry and who we are as individuals. I think one of the primary reasons that anybody should attend the conference is because you are going to see inspirational change. You're going to see the way an industry can reinvent itself over a short period of time and make a massive difference to the community, make a massive difference to individuals, and what the potential is in the future uh, for more change, both in the juvenile justice arena and the adult justice arena. Yeah.